Dodge refers to it as the charger of the SUV world. And as is the case with nearly all of their vehicles, the Durango really knows how to personify the bad boy image. With a lowered ride height, gloss black everything, and a Hemi under the hood, the RT Blacktop Edition isn't just another three-row people mover. My last test drive of the Durango was exactly four years ago, just after the all-new model went on sale. And last year, the Durango received its first major overhaul since its 2011 introduction. So this retest week was long overdue. Those upgrades included a new 8-speed transmission with rotary shifter and eco mode, the latest Uconnect system with Wi-Fi, a full-blown Blu-ray rear entertainment system with dual 9-inch screens in the seatbacks, a number of styling changes to the front fascia, the addition of the LED racetrack tail lamp design, and a host of other interior and feature updates. And now for 2015, Dodge's signature black top package can be ordered on all trims, with the exception of the more dignified range topping Citadel. But it looks best on the high performance Durango RT, featuring the 360 horsepower Hemi V8, a sport tuned fully independent suspension lowered by about an inch, 20 inch wheels, HID low beam headlamps, and RT embroidered leather seats with red stitching. The black top package itself adds only $295 to the price and includes gloss black in spades to the grille, wheels, mirrors, and badges. On this granite crystal tester, the look is somewhere between law enforcement and post apocalyptic. If you're looking for a ride with big time tood, this is it. In driving the Durango, it definitely has that it factor. It's not some cumbersome SUV. Instead, it has performance baked into the chassis. And all of those critical driving elements are in harmony, backed by the muscle car sounds of the Hemi V8, an experience that makes the Durango unique in the class. And it feels like it's worth every bit of its $50,000 price tag, with a sporty, modern, high-quality feel and some of the best electronics in the industry. For a 5,300 pound SUV, it's amazing how well this big Durango handles and how truly fun it is to drive. The Hemi's growl, heard from accelerating quickly, never gets tiring. It's built upon a unibody structure and feels tight and never sloppy with reactive steering and paddle shifters for the auto. The firmer suspension tuning gives the RT a noticeably stiffer ride with quickly muted body motions lending to frequent head bobbing over small road imperfections but it's far from offensive. These Goodyear Forterra HL edition tires are for all season quiet ride purposes, but still do a better than decent job of stable handling. If you own a boat, this Durango has the optional trailer tow group, which can handle 7,200 pounds and comes with rear load leveling shocks. The V8's 390 pound feet of torque is greater than that of the strongest Ford Explorer, and it doesn't require premium unleaded. Mileage is rated at 14 MPG City, 22 Highway, and uses the engine's ability to run on four cylinders to achieve those less than frugal numbers. The Durango is bigger than you'd think, with the ability to seat six as seen here, with the optional second row fold and tumble captain's chairs. Because they don't slide, keeping your knees off of the front seat can be a little more challenging than expected, but they do recline, and that's where you can find the most comfort. And this optional console is quite cool, as long as you don't mind giving up a middle walkway to the third row. It opens in both directions, provides cup holders and storage for the remote and headphones. And the third row is easily accessible from either side, is adult friendly, and is elevated for better forward visibility. Well executed. And in the rear, you've got the Chrysler pop-out flashlight, a large, deep underfloor storage area, and there's a power function on the Navi screen to drop the rear headrests when not in use. Up front, the Napa Leather Group adds softness to the commanding, comfy seats. The Uconnect system is no less than brilliant in both its layout and functionality, with all kinds of useful features. And the optional technology group invites radar-based items like adaptive cruise control with full stop, forward collision warning with crash mitigation, and blind spot and cross path detection. Remote start, a heated steering wheel, and heated first and second row seats were definitely appreciated this week. It's a fully stocked ride that takes good care of everyone's needs. Base price of the RT all-wheel drive is $43,290, while this one stickers for $51,260. 
A Beats by Dr. Dre audio system is also standard this year, but wasn't available on my early build tester. With their in-your-face mean, Dodge vehicles aren't for everyone's taste, but behind the Durango swagger is a luxury outfitted, sophisticated machine that is as good as they come. For testdrivenow.com, I'm Steve Hammes.